the Anglo-Saxon period in English literature spans from the 5th century ad to the Norman Conquest in 1066. The Anglo-Saxon period in England began in the 5th century ad, following the collapse of the Roman Empire. At this time, various Germanic tribes, including the Angles, Saxons, and Jutes, migrated to England from what is now Germany, Denmark, and the Netherlands. These tribes established their own kingdoms and settlements throughout England, and over time, their cultures and languages blended together to form what is known as Anglo-Saxon culture. The Anglo-Saxon period lasted until the Norman Conquest in 1066, when William the Conqueror invaded England and established Norman rule. During the Anglo-Saxon period, England was a largely rural and agricultural society, with most people living in small, self-sufficient communities. The economy was based on farming, and the land was divided into individual holdings that were farmed by families or groups of families. Religion played an important role in Anglo-Saxon culture, with the early Anglo-Saxons practicing a pagan religion that was later replaced by Christianity. The conversion to Christianity was largely the result of the work of missionaries, who arrived in England in the 6th century and established the first Christian communities. The Anglo-Saxon period was also marked by frequent warfare and conflict, both between different Anglo-Saxon kingdoms and between the Anglo-Saxons and other groups, such as the Vikings. This period saw the rise of powerful warrior kings, such as Alfred the Great of Wessex, who sought to unify England under a single rule. The Anglo-Saxon period in England was marked by a unique set of cultural, political, and social characteristics. Here are some of the key characteristics of this period. Warrior culture. The Anglo-Saxons were a warrior culture who valued bravery, loyalty, and honor. This is reflected in their literature, which often features heroic figures engaged in battle. Pagan beliefs. The Anglo-Saxons were originally pagan and worshipped a variety of gods and goddesses. Their beliefs were influenced by Germanic and Norse mythology, and many of their stories and legends feature supernatural beings and creatures. Strong oral tradition, because the Anglo-Saxons did not have a written language until the 7th century, much of their literature was passed down through an oral tradition. This included poems, songs, and stories that were performed by bards and poets. Tribal society, the Anglo-Saxon period was marked by a tribal society, with different regions of England being controlled by various tribes and kingdoms. This often led to conflict and warfare between these groups. Agricultural economy, the Anglo-Saxons were primarily farmers and their economy was based on agriculture. They grew crops such as wheat, barley, and oats, and raised livestock such as cows, sheep, and pigs. Importance of family and kinship, the Anglo-Saxons placed a great deal of importance on family and kinship ties. Inheritance and succession were often determined by kinship, and family members were expected to provide support and protection for each other. The Anglo-Saxon period produced many important writers, poets, and scholars who made significant contributions to English literature and culture. Some of the most notable writers of this period include Cadman, he was an Anglo-Saxon poet who is considered to be the first English poet. His only surviving work is a hymn praising God. Bede, he was an Anglo-Saxon monk and scholar who is best known for his ecclesiastical history of the English people, which chronicled the history of England from Roman times to the 8th century. King Alfred the Great, he was a warrior king of Wessex who is known for his efforts to promote education and literacy in England. He also translated a number of important works from Latin into Old English. Seinwolf, this is the name of a group of poets who wrote in Old English, including Seinwolf himself, who is known for his religious poetry. 
The Beowulf poet, the author of the epic poem Beowulf is unknown, but the poem is considered to be one of the greatest works of Anglo-Saxon literature. Wolfston, he was an Anglo-Saxon bishop and writer who wrote a number of important religious texts. Aldhelm, he was an Anglo-Saxon bishop and scholar who wrote a number of works on grammar, rhetoric, and poetry. Important literary works of the Anglo-Saxon period include Beowulf, this epic poem tells the story of a hero named Beowulf who battles various monsters and dragons in order to protect his people. It is considered one of the most important works of Old English literature and is an important example of Anglo-Saxon heroic poetry. The Anglo-Saxon Chronicle, this is a collection of historical documents written in Old English that cover the history of England from the Roman period to the 12th century. It is an important source of information about the Anglo-Saxon period and provides insight into the politics, culture, and language of the time. The Dream of the Rood, this poem tells the story of the crucifixion of Jesus Christ from the perspective of the cross, or rood, on which he was hung. It is an important example of Anglo-Saxon religious poetry and shows the influence of Christianity on Anglo-Saxon culture. The Wanderer, this poem is a meditation on the transience of human life and the inevitability of death. It is an important example of Anglo-Saxon elegiac poetry and reflects the hardships and uncertainties of life during the period. The Exeter Book, this is a collection of Old English poetry and prose that includes some of the most important works including Beowulf, The Wanderer, and The Seafarer. In terms of genres, Anglo-Saxon literature includes epic poetry, religious poetry, historical chronicles, and riddles, among others. The literature of the Anglo-Saxon period is an important and influential part of the English literary tradition, and has had a lasting impact on the development of English language and culture.